My name is Shlomi Simmerman. I'm the grandson of Reboruch Moshe Simmerman, Zechoyen Lebrocha, who was the man, probably single-handedly, after the Chorban in Europe, put Dafiomi back on the map. He organized Shi'urim, promoted Siyumim, and generally put the words in our vocabulary in today's Daf. Let me tell you a very nice little story. I've got a son called Baruch Moshe who's called after him. He learns in Gated Koil. And he was once asked to give the Dafiyomi Shia in the town for the local Balabatim. After the Shia, one of the participants came up to him and said, Mr. Simmerman, I want to tell you a little story. About 50 years ago, I, when I was a Bocha in Gateshead, I attended a Sheva Brochus of a first cousin of mine marrying Mordechai David Zimmerman. And there was a Sheva Brochus in the Gateshead Shul Hall. The chairman of the evening was an uncle, Borch Moshe Zimmerman, who started off his speech that evening with the words, in today's Duff the Gemara says. And I didn't know what that meant. I'd never come across it before. Of course, we would say, in today's parasha, the Posik says. I'd never heard somebody say, in today's duff, the Gomorrah says. So I made inquiries. I asked what it meant. And I got interested. And I've just finished us nearly four times. This was Mr. Volvi Glick of Gateshead. And he said, here I am coming to the Shia, given by a great grandson of his with the same name. 50 years later, this is really Torah, Chazeres Alachsanya Shelo. The Torah tells us Vavrom Zokein Bo Bayomim. All the Mepharshim explain that Bo Bayomim means you come with every single day of your life. Since I started learning that for Yomi 14 years ago, Every single day is accounted for. This chibus of it, the knowledge that every single day I need to learn my daf, be it Friday, Shabbos, Yom Kippur, Purim, Tisha B'Av, Simchas Torah, there's always a daf to be learned. Not so long ago I had to travel to Sao Paulo, Brazil, and naturally I was jet lagged, couldn't sleep, went to shul at 6 a.m. As I walked in, there was a shia starting exactly at the point where I was up to. I joined the shia and it was really tremendous chizik. It's an opportunity to see parts of Shas that I wouldn't see otherwise, to inspire people with ideas that I wouldn't know otherwise, and I hope to maintain as a role model, a father, and the Rova Kahila, a Kavias in Limitar Torah every day without fail. Don't look at the whole Shas as if it's a huge mountain, just take every day as it comes, and you definitely can do it, and you won't regret it. When I went to this last team, and I was thinking, wow, thousand people sitting here but I feel so special to be together with all types, all ages and the people when they were dancing you feel you're part of something. It's such an amazing thing to be part of some sort of a system, some sort of a cycle where we've got goals and to cover the ground from the beginning to the end and we're not just learning because we have to learn but we're learning to be a part of something, we're learning because we enjoy it. <laughs> Starting now a new Machzev from the Shas. As you know, by the beginning, and I know about the Midroshim of Ful, as it a bit weiter and weiter, and it's a very bad clan. We think that it's a very good thing, and it's a very good thing to live with the Alliance. About 50 years ago, was a young man, a Balchuve, a Russian Balchuve, in Neibrak. And he wanted to go to Russian and have a workstell to learn with a few Bochrim, Gimore, and then they should go and make sure him all over the place. He went and he took with him in his suitcase, behalten, a poor photocopies from Blätter, from Gimore. Er sung ich ihm dort, er zusammen ging mit fünf, sechs Buchen lech, er sei ausgelernt, er ganzen Blatt gemure, in er sei gesucht, er boi sei, geiz, macht sich hier im all over the place. Sie sei seine Verblieben, er sei ein Hub, er secret way, was soll sie connecten, Tomer etwas Probleme. 
Der zweite Mäure, die Kermasse. Sie gewinnt einer für sie, hat gemacht, das Schir irgends wie in der Größe Russland. Zu dem Schir ist er angekommen, ein älterer Mensch, mir fragt er, wo es, wenn, wo sich es die, er antwortet nicht. So ein Mäure geht, so ein Schwiss, wo sie tun. So ein Gang ist, so ein weggeschickter Telegramm, dem Eden, er hat gesagt, er weiß nicht, er geht daran zum Stapel und fragt, wo soll ich tun. Fragt ihm der Stapel, wenn Fuß ist das nächste Mal, so erklärt ihn in der Puche Dusche. So schreibt ihm, der Walle soll man dem Schirr nicht machen. Die ist hinkommen, red mit dem Eden. Kach habe, man der Walle dem Schirr gestoppt, der Eden kommt heran, in der Rift sie dem Eden, so er in Russisch, wo siehst du? So er hat das sein, ich bin gewesen, ein Kolchosnik, Arbeit, ich habe gearbeitet im Feld, bitte schwer gearbeitet. Ich bin natürlich, one day I was on the back, weg zurück von der Arbeit. I went in, in der Kretschme, in der Bar, trinken ein bisschen Wodka, so ich umwarme. Ich habe nicht gewusst, dass in dem Platz, um sich gerade gedacht zu sein, treffen, ein paar Morde, ein paar, was sie haben gewollt machen, haben wir den Dämmel zu installieren. Ich habe gar nicht gewusst. Ich bin herangegangen in dem Restaurant. Keiner ist dort gewesen. Der KGB dann seine Gewohnheit gewonnen in this place. They coming together against Stalin. Der Chevre seine Gewohnheit gewonnen hat. Der KGB weiß noch davon. Dann ist keiner nicht gekommen. Der Ried ist nebenher allein gesetzt und dort und getrunken dort und ausgeharget. Ein klein Gläserle Wodka mit einem Mul. Find die Fenster, find das Dach. Springe sie heran. Schändliche, verhindert Hevre, man hat ihm gehabt, man hat ihm geschleppt, man hat ihm genommen. Man hat ihm gebracht in die KGB, im Schrat, im Dias, sagte, wo ist, wenn ich mit Stalin, no, no way, man pusht ihn, ein Bewerker, was ist an der Hand, ich arbeite im Feld. Es hat ihm nicht geholfen, man hat ihm gehackt, ihn geschlagen, man hat gemacht am Mischbett. Sie kommen zum Mischbett, er weint zu dem Schäufer, please, let me away, let me out, ich habe gar nicht getan. Sucht ihm der Schäufer in Russisch. Die Tam Sidiel, die Adin ist nicht. Die bist dort gesetzt, bis der eine für sei. Sie geht mir gar nicht um. 25 years he went, they gave him in Sibirien. He finished the 25 years, er schon aber gewinnt, his life is over. Er schon gern die Metalles. Er sie kommen zurück heim, he find out, als sie du irgends wie ein Schir. Er kommt, er kann nicht leinen. Er kann nicht gut nicht, er kann sitzen. Sucht er von dem Eden, der Balschiff im Neubereich. One day, I will come up there, I need to give it the invitation. And I will ask, ich will um schar, that I went to a shir every day. Wird mir mal sagen, sorry, du hast dich verstanden gut nicht, du hast dich gelernt gut nicht. Und dann sagen er so, 25 years in Sibir habe ich bekommen, weil man mir gesagt, die Tam Sidiel, die Adin ist nicht. Du bist gesetzt mit sei, bist einer für sei. Ich sitze mit dem, bin ich einer für den. Ich will oben schar versitzen bei Schir. Auf viele, wenn ich verstehe nicht, auf viele, wenn ich hab nicht keine Ahnung, was uns lehrt. Ich bin mich meistens nervös. Ich komme zum Schir. 25 Jahre in Sibir bin ich gesetzt und davor. Ich will jetzt oben schar von dem, was ich bin mit dem. Das ist ein gewaltiger, gewaltiger Chizik. Für jeden einen. Mir kommt, einmal schluft man an, einmal ist man mit. Aber please Eden, kommt zu der Schir, kommt zu der Teure, kommt zu der Teure bei Rabim. Du wirst es bringen, mit Schir, bei mir und bei meinen Umen.
Chubolim say that we have an obligation to fulfill all of the Tariag mitzvahs, otherwise we have to come back down again as a Gilgal. The question is obvious. How is it possible for one person to fulfill all of the Tariag mitzvahs? Different mitzvahs apply to different people and at different eras. The Mukubolim say as follows. The Gomorrah in Shabbos Taflamad Aleph says that somebody came in front of Hillel and they said, convert me, I'll regal achas. And of course Hillel famously said to him, don't do to others what you don't want done to yourself. And he concludes, and the rest go and learn. So the way the Mukubolim understand this is that the question is, how on earth am I going to fulfill all of the Tariag mitzvahs al regalachas on just one leg of the journey, just coming down to this world once without having to be reincarnated? There are two answers that Hillel said. Firstly, it's true that you as an individual can't do it, but together with all of Klal Yisrael throughout history, between you, if you feel a connection, a shaykhus to every single yid, then between you collectively, you manage to do all of the Tariq mitzvahs and you're counted and accredited with having fulfilled all the Tariq mitzvahs. What is the other technique? The idach zilgamoyer. The other technique is that if you can't do every single mitzvah because it's not shaykh right now, but learn about the mitzvahs. And Ali Dei Limut through learning about these Tariag mitzvahs, it will be counted as though you've actually done all of these Tariag mitzvahs. And then, Al Regalachas, you won't have to come back down to be reincarnated and go through this whole world again. This is one of the milers of something like Daf Yomi, where we have a plan, a plan for Ezra Sashem, for each person to get through Gantz Shas. And we see from so many Chaverim how possible it is and how Shaykh it is. One of the amazing things about the Daf Yomi Siyam is we have both of these things coming together. On the one hand, we see so many different types of Yidan from so many different communities all over the world. For Ahav Talorecha Kamoicha, we want to be part of something great. And additionally, why are we all coming together? Because of Zil Gamayr, because of everybody who's gone from the beginning of Shas to the end of Shas, the beginning of their Masechta to the end of their Masechta, all to collaborate, to learn as much as we can of this beautiful Torah. I started Daf Yomi two cycles ago, which is approximately 15 years ago. I was a bocha, and it changed my life. We say indeed every morning, don't we, a bocha, the har of Noah Hashem should delight us with his Torah. And on a personal level, I learn every day, and there are new delights every single day. I feel that I have shied tremendously from being able to give a Daf Yomi shir, and I'm looking forward to the next cycle. What a simcha, what an excitement. The heart is full of joy. Pamalia Shel Malo with Kuchabrichu celebrating with us and saying, Chazu, Chazu, Bonai Chavivai. All of you can do it. Mazel Tov to those who have done it and for those who are about to start and embark on this journey. Chayam and Sholem, Nisiyatova. Thank you very much. The idea of Daf Yomi was an idea initiated by the Heliger Besul Mitshatkev, Schusi Yognaleinu, and he asked from his Talmud, Rabbi Gunnar Meir Shapira, Zeher Tzadik Levoche, to broadcast and suggest the idea to Klal Yisrael. I think that the intention of Daf Yomi was, of course, that every, every Yid in Klal Yisrael should be able to become a Shas Yid, a personal elevation. But I think the idea of Dafayemi is much stronger. Kiheim Chayenu Vairich Yomenu is Kiheim Chayenu means it becomes a way of life. What I mean to say is when a person has an iron commitment of learning Dafayemi every day, a father, a husband, so it doesn't only have an effect on him, it has an effect on the whole family, it has an effect on the whole household. And everything in the day revolves around the shir. So Mamela, the whole surroundings become elevated, the whole family, the shti becomes a teirde I myself can testify, Bocha Hashem, my father is a loy medafa yomi, kali he actually also founded the shir. My grandfather, Reb Nathan Merz, he 
was a loma dafayomi all his life and the impression that it made on us and children grandchildren is an impression which stays loilam word i say to anybody who considers to join dafayomi should i join obviously it seems like a, a hal godoil to finish the whole of shas but it's it's a hakhlata which has consequences ludoiras a person who is a committed to dafayomi it has an effect on him on his household on his children and his grandchildren ludoira dairas the mamutsim ashas which we are zoiche to here in the uk i think is just about as close as to anything we will get to to mamad har sinai the kabbalah satira be makelos v'rivo is ampo be israel the hakdama to kabbalah satira in the torah kadosha is kaisoyma levis yakov v'sagid levnei israel kaisoymar levis yakov is amira loshan rako a word of chizuk and appreciation because the emes dikim mesir snefesh which allows the tens and hundreds and thousands of lengthy dafayomi to go out to the Shia at whatever time of the day is the B'noi Sisroel, it's the Beis Yaakov who support them and give them the chizuk. And as the Heilig Atan Rebbe Kiva said, the schus of Limud HaToyre, the schus of Kiddush, Shem Shemayim Berabim, is attributed as Niskaf, the schus of the Nushim Tzitkon Yais. And the second one came out naturally. Like you need to nullify Membermino. Right. The the of the Right. The 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 newly, not the into the Nadab. That's what it makes sense. That's what has to Goes in, goes in Goy, it says, I need a ash. And then you take it from the Anybody that hits Shepardo, we don't have to worry about that. So therefore, that's <laughs> So there's no way that these young animals the man you the And if you did it in white
After the Second World War, Rav Aaron Paperman, a former Talmud of Tells, became a chaplain with the United States Army to go to the DP camp to be able to help hundreds of people who never came out of the concentration camps. People would ask him for clothing. They would ask him for medications. One afternoon, a man, Yaakov Hirsch Seeger, came and said, Chaplain, could you please get me a Boba Kama? And Rabbi Paperman said, a what? And Yaakov Hirsch said to him, Chaplain, you never heard of a Boba Kama? And of course I know of the Gemara Boba Kama. But I'm here to rehabilitate people. People ask me about medications or clothing that they might need. He said, Chaplain, four years ago, I was in my kitchen in Hungary and I was learning a Gemara and the Nazis, Yemach Shemom, they took me away. I haven't seen a Gemara in four years. I need a Gemara. I want to see those letters. I want to learn a Mishnah. I want to learn a Brisa. I want to hold a Masechta in my hand. Please, chaplain, if you can only give me a Gemara. In a few moments, we are going to be Messiah Shas with this Gemara. This precious Gemara is one of the only ones that's left from the DP camps. By making a Siyam Ashas with this Gemara, we make a bridge to the difficult past, but we also make a commitment to the future.